good morning good morning good morning how's everybody doing happy tuesday hope everybody's having a good week so far had a great monday morning put your goals out there set them for the week uh new month coming up today you know so now we get to set up for september uh see what you're gonna do this month plan it out you know let's rock and roll with it you know in in talking about keys to success you know a lot of my videos are about what do you have to do to achieve that success i wanted to talk about one of the keys that you can't you can't do without in striving for success and that's persistence persistence is a huge key because without it no matter what other qualities you have no matter how much uh intelligence you have no matter how much uh strength you have no matter how much stamina you have without the persistence of keep striving for what you want to do it's, it's not gonna happen you know we are what we are repeatedly do therefore excellence then is not an act but a habit you know so we strive for that excellence and if we keep doing it over and over and over again therefore it becomes normal to us you know in my studies about persistence and achieving success i've come up with you know four uh, four steps i guess to 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 strive to become successful through persistence um the first one is a definite purpose backed by a burning desire for its fulfillment. So if you don't have your why, if you don't have your reason why you're doing what you're doing and it's not on your mind all the time, like you don't have that burning desire inside to achieve what you're trying to do, you know, uh, you're, you're, it's not going to be for you. If you're doing something because you feel like it's the right thing to do or somebody told you it was the right thing to do and it's not a desire from you within, you know, it, it's not going to work. You know, you have to have that desire from within. You got to have that burning sensation inside you that wants you to do whatever you're doing and moving it to the next level. You know, um, it, it could be whatever, you know, it could be cutting hair. It could be, you know, cooking, it could be, uh, you know, exercise, it can be uh, motivational speaking, it could be selling, it could be uh, leading people in the military. If this is not what you want to do with, with your conviction, then it, it's not going to work, you know? The second one is a definite plan expressed in continuous action. So behind what you have a desire to do, that burning, you know, desire inside you, you have to have that plan. You have to have that 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 roadmap to success on what you want to do. Now, of course, this roadmap might change, you know, due to whatever might come up in your life. But you have to have that plan and you have to follow that plan. You have to be consistent with that plan. You know what I'm saying? You can't be, you know, um, a good writer if you don't write continuously. You can't be a good, um, you know, personal trainer if you're not out there learning new techniques and, um, you know, in the gym consistently, you know what I'm saying, and learning all those things. You can't do those things without the other things. So you have to do whatever you want to do continuously with a plan, you know. You have to have a focus uh, and move towards that every single day, you know. Even if, like, for me, like, I'm in sales. Now, if I don't learn new things every day about the thing that I'm selling or selling techniques, or learning how to connect with somebody, uh, I, I'm never going to be successful. So that's something that I have to work on every single day. So continuously working on what you want to do with a plan in mind to get you to it. A mind closely tightly against all negative and discouraging influencing, including negative suggestions of relative friends and acquaintances. So you got to push out all the haters. You got to push out everybody that's telling you you cannot do what you want to do. You got to have the mindset of 
you know, uh, I can do this and you need to have the people around you to encourage you to do it. You know, we can all be strong. We can all, you know, do what, you know, we want to do in this world. But if you have those people constantly around you saying that, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? You know, that this ain't going to work. That ain't going to work. You don't have people there encouraging you to keep going and keep pushing then it's not going to work, you know? So you want to have those people around you, your team around you, that's on the same path as you, you know what I'm saying? Just pushing to become great at something or, you know, going through it every single day, you know what I'm saying? Just having somebody there or having people around you that uh, encourage you and focusing on your goals. Because, it, you know, when you start putting in those long hours on uh, doing something for that you want to do, those people are going to come around and be like, hey, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? Why are you doing this? You know what I'm saying? And and you don't need that. You know, you need people to encourage you and, and push you forward, you know? And another one is a friendly alliance with one or more people who will encourage you to follow this in both plan and purpose. So you need somebody on the other side of this also to keep encouraging you moving forward. But somebody may be that has been through what you've been through or has gone through it so that you can ask questions and get their opinion or advice that somebody who's gone through it. The worst person to ask advice from is somebody that hasn't done what you've done, you know what I mean? So, you know, having that alliance with people or just a few, in my case, I would just have a few people, you know, that you trust that you can ask those questions to that have been through it already to help you along your path, you know? You'll learn that people that are truly successful in life love to pass on the information that they know to the next generation or the next people behind them because they understand that um, success is nothing without leaving that legacy, without leaving those clues for the next people, you know, the next people behind them, the next entrepreneur, the next, you know, great barber, the next great cook, the next great salesperson, the great great military leader, you know what I'm saying? All those people probably have some kind of mentor in the business they're in right now that has been very successful at what they do. And, you know, having that connection with somebody is, is crucial. You know what I mean? Um, that's definitely one of the keys to being persistent and moving on and keep on pushing through what you want to do. Persistence after a while becomes a matter of habit. You know, if you do things for a long enough time, it becomes a habit, you know, um, which is which is which is a great transformation to see somebody go through, because at one time when they struggle to get up and do this and do that and whatever it might be, and then all of a sudden it just comes some naturally to them. It, it's it's amazing, you know, um, think about all the great inventors out there like uh, Alexander Graham Bell or um how many experiments did he go through before he created the one thing? You know what I mean? Uh, nobody ever sees that. Nobody ever seen Steve Jobs working in his garage consistently for years and years and years and years and years before he came up with the great thing. You know what I mean? Nobody sees that portion of it, you know? Um, if you ever seen the story of Marie Callender and, you know, the, the pies you see at the, um, at the, at the, supermarkets nobody's seen that she worked at a, a diner and made one pie one day and that 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 sold out and then she made two pies and then she went to two pies to six pies and six pies to 12 pies and then she ended up you know funding her own um you know oven in her house and then she made more and more and now you know you, you can't go anywhere in, in a supermarket without seeing her name on things you know that that's persistence that's belief in yourself that's having the right people around you encouraging you to keep moving forward and whatever you were you were striving to do and striving to be you know I, I woke up this morning excited to get up in the morning to to push towards my goals you know what I'm saying I have I have a my own what I have my own roadmap in my head, you know, what I'm saying every morning, you know, no matter how tired I am, because, you know, you're going to be tired, but I'm excited to get up, you know, I'm excited to start my day, I'm excited to do what I have to do to be successful today, you know, what I mean, and if you don't have that excitement, if you don't have that drive, if you don't have that, that purpose, or that fulfillment, when you're doing what you're doing, you're probably not either a using your gift 
or you're in a toxic situation that is that is that is making that fire inside you go out and you have to get into another situation you have to put yourself in another place because you're just wasting your, your time you know life on this planet is so damn short you know how many people you know think about it. how many people that in your life have you lost shortly and suddenly and 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 look in the news today you know um we, we're losing so many people at, at, at such short periods of times in their lives that, you know, that have touched so many people. And if you're not living every day that you have to the fullest extent of what you're capable of or what your what your gift was given to you, then, you know, we're, we're wasting our time. You know, you, you have you have so much more to give the people out there. I know you do. Um, well, this is my morning talk this morning. Persistence is key. Whatever you're doing in life, make sure you're doing it with with conviction. Make sure you're doing it, you know, to the fullest extent of the gift that God gave you inside you. You know what I'm saying? And let's move forward. All right, guys. Have a great Tuesday and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.